Hello, my sexy muffins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we are doing Alistair's Childhood Friend Part 4, I believe. Anyways, this is the one in the previous one. There was a school issue, and they had it with time period bad stuff, which is, it's in the 1900s, 1900 some, something, not even the 1910s. So this is very much a bad time for a uh, traditionally white person and uh, Alistair who is in canon a mixed uh, where his mom is most likely African-American and his dad was most likely white. I'm not sure on who and who, but Vivzy Pop has confirmed that Alistair is mixed. So, and it has to do with the Creole type in Louisiana at the time, all that stuff, Cajun, whatever. I can't remember the details on it, but stuff like that. And that is very much the situation that Alistair is in. And so he is in that situation and all of that terrible stuff. And this is, and this will go up until his unaliven in 1933, which is the set date that year that I think that he had passed. So there will be time period bad stuff. I can't say what because of YouTube, because YouTube and I don't want to lose my channel. So sorry for censoring it, even though it's ridiculously poo poo. Anyways, so there will be unfortunately time period stuff. I will keep it to a minimum and I am not saying any of those full on slurs. I will censor them or say a different word. And I will not even say certain things because I find this stuff hating someone because of their race. Despicable. Absolutely despicable. There's the disclaimer for that. Anyways, now on to the disclaimer of this. Disclaimer, this is an alternate universe. Uh, basically, if Alistair had a childhood friend who was he was Yandere for and not based on canon, this is before he un got unalived and went to hell and all that stuff. Now, disclaimer number two. This is, Alistair is not Yandere in canon. This is just for fun, basically an AU, and not to be taken seriously at all. Simping for fictional characters and fictional Yandere's is fine. Just do not be illegal or gross about it and, and separate head canon from canon and all that good stuff. Now on to a new disclaimer. Disclaimer number three, well, four. Disclaimer number three slash four is that Alistair is Arrow Ace, but they don't know what that is at this time because those terms have not been coined. But for Alistair as a Yandere, he does not have traditional romantic or adult fun time feelings for listener, for you, the listener. And he's a kid right now. He wouldn't have adult fun time anyways. But the point is he won't have those feelings for you. But he does have a bond and a connection you, with you and wants companionship. And when he is an adult and eventually does marry you, because spoiler, you will marry Alistair in this, You he will choose to have adult fun time with you as you as being your husband. And he knows that it makes you feel connected to him and makes it feel normal. So he will do that. But until then he's a child right now or a teenager. I think we left off in teens or almost teens. I'm going to do a time skip for a couple of years where he's now like in high school, you're in high school. So that's where we're going off with that. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get on to business. It had been a couple of years. Well, quite a few years actually. And you and Alistair have gone and, have gotten, have become very, very close in the last few years. Your parents were fine with Alistair and Alistair mother, Alistair's mother was fine with you and Alistair's father. Well, he was out of the picture somehow. He hasn't come back after a while. And you think that he might have left Alistair's mother. She's been working her fingers to the bone to provide for her son and all that. But it was finally you both were now in high school and you, yes, still had to face a lot of bull heck with people saying that you uh, shouldn't be hanging around with someone like Alistair. 
Of course, you ignored them, and fine, and it has settled down where people have stopped hounding you. Of course, you both couldn't go to the same school because of segregation laws, and you guys couldn't go out and do a lot of stuff in town because of segregation laws. But Alistair's complexion started to change where he became, as the years went on, more and more passing. And it was harder for people that didn't know Alistair to tell that he was passing. He just looked really, really tanned at this point. Again, this is not how biology works. He just looks tan and he's also like filling out in the right ways. And it's all that stuff with puberty and stuff. But he was also passing a little bit before just people knew that who his mother was basically. Anyways, back to the video. So people who did not grow up knowing him were starting to believe that he was passing, which was a little bit good for your guys' friendship because you got less hate during the summer. Of course, when school rolled around, everyone knew, and they made your guys' life heck as much as they could. You ignored it, though. So you, life was getting to be a bit better, but also the time period sucked. But it was one of those hot summer days, and you were sitting out with Alistair in his boat on the bayou. He was fishing as usual, and you finally asked him, Hey, Alistair. Hmm? He asks as he is fishing. What do you think about... Hmm, I don't know how to phrase it, you say. Phrase what? What are you talking about? How would you feel like if I kissed you? You s say suddenly, and he looks at you, his face going red. He was a bit uncomfortable with the idea of kissing anyone, but that you wanted to kiss him stroked his ego and made him feel like there was something there that should feel right. I I don't know. I'm really not interested in all that stuff. You nod your head and go back to laying down on the boat. Uh, it's a larger boat. He paid for it, got it on sale from an older man, just for your information. He continued to fish, and you thought about it. You really wanted to kiss Alistair. He has been your best friend for years, and he's always treated you great. And you thought he liked you too. But he supposedly, or is, not interested in that stuff. He made you feel a bit sad, and you sat there. And you sit up and sat there, looking at him. I can feel you looking at me, he says. Sorry, Alistair, I just, is it me? Do you not like me, or is it just the whole thing in general? He turned to you and looked at you. It's not that I don't like you. I really do like you. You're the only person I ever had anything like that for, he says. Sorry, I keep going into accent, and I'm so sorry. Ignore that. Well, you see me in that way? I think I do. It's not particularly romantic and it's not very adult fun adult fun timey but i do like you and i want to have a life with you your cheeks heat up you didn't understand how alistair felt fully maybe it was like your uncle jim who really never had married or never was in a relationship of any shape or form you remember him telling you that that just wasn't his thing Maybe it's something that was undiscovered. You didn't know, but you looked at Alistair. Can I kiss you then? You ask him. You're holding your breath almost. I I suppose, but let me initiate it, he says. And he leans in and kisses you. And for him, the kiss really didn't do anything romantic or adult fun timey. But just knowing that he was your first kiss and you were his first case made it feel so, so wonderful. And it was slow and sweet, and then you both pulled away blushing. Wow, you said, blushing, feeling butterflies in your stomach. Alistair just felt the possession that he, you were each other's first kiss, and no one would begin that back. And also, seeing how happy it made you made him feel some type of butterflies in his stomach. Not romantically, but he felt like he had pleased you, and that stroked his ego and made him feel good. You both start to pack up. It was skin dark and you better get home before the gators became a problem. So, Alistair, you ask him. Yeah, darling? He asks, looking at you as he steers the boat. Would you like to be 
An item? You asked, playing with your hands. You were nervous. The kiss was the first thing. And you were going deep in for it. I would like that, your name. You'll be my darling and I'll be your man, he says. You guys were only 15 years old in high school and you still had a couple of years to go. Your relationship will be secret so his dad didn't worry. And also he didn't know how your dad would react. Your dad was pretty chill, but underlying issues are underlying issues. So you guys promised to keep it secret, but you were officially an item and everything was going great. Of course, there was still other things to be dealt with that you didn't want to fully admit that there were going to be issues. Like if you could seriously have a relationship like this and if you could do it, would it survive in the state that the South is in? It was hard enough for couples to do it, and you've seen how other mixed couples got treated. But you would do it for Alistair because you loved him, and you think he loved you too in his own way, which was enough for you. Everything was sweet, but you did not know the troubles that were on the horizon for you. You were about to become a woman through biology, and you do not know how Alistair would handle your new found hormones or your new found biology anyways i hope that you all enjoy next video i hope i remember to do this i really do will be a period scenario where you have your first period now i know 15 is not always the type that people have their periods i just forgot while i was recording this that I forgot to do that scenario that someone wanted, requested for do of Alistair reacting to his childhood friend having their period. So it will be 15 that you had. I'm sorry if it was not accurate. I'm glad I just didn't go up any later. So yes, that is going to be the next scenario. I hope that you all enjoyed this. And if you would like to see more, comment below what you'd like to see. Also, if you have any scenarios that you want to see Alistair and you do in videos of this childhood series, Childhood Friend series, it'll go all, all the way up to Alistair being 33. So there's like 18 more years of stuff that can be done for first, like when he gets his first job, what job you have, complications when you guys get married, etc. The honeymoon, not adult fun me, but all the stuff that you can think of. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you would like to see more, comment below what you would like to see, and I will do my best to do it. Patreon outro. Thank you, Gab, for being my first patron. You are wonderful, beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. Thank you, Gab. And thank you, Wicked Brony, for being my second patron. You are wonderful, beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. Mwah. Thank you, Wicked Brony. I hope that you both enjoyed, and I hope that you all... Oh, sorry. Tingly feeling in my mouth. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed, and stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye-bye. Secret outro time, secret outro time, secret, secret outro time, secret outro. If you were in this situation, would you have been bold enough to ask Alistair if you wanted to be an item? I probably want it because I'm too socially awkward. Anyways, I hope that you all enjoyed, and stay sexy on my sexy muffins. Bye-bye.